she's crazy. That's what I heard. Just plain crazy. Something's got to change. Because we keep doing the same thing over and over. And our church is dying. Stay put or you'll be eating takeout for a week. I'm retired. And I really want to spend the rest of my life just, just writing. God's gifted you with a pastor's heart. I don't care what goes down today. I'm voting no, no, no. Your work here on earth is done. And there's a wonderful place waiting for you. She will be our pastor. Wait just a minute. With all due respect to the current situation, our bylaws state that the vote must be unanimous. And I still vote N-O. given by the hand of God, but he kissed it before he gave it to us. You know what I thought when I first saw you out here? What? You were out here trying to hide from the world, just you and your animals. Well, I'm gonna tell you something about animals. They'll always make you laugh. They're relaxing and you know what? They're even comforting. Comforting, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Well, are. come on, you pitiful thing. Let's sit down, you can tell me what's going on. Lynn, you can't let this church thing steal your joy. Your joy and your humor are a huge part of who you are. Mm. In fact, I find myself always waiting to see what you're going to say or do next to make me laugh. Maybe I'll charge you for the entertainment value. No, <laughs> but you should start setting aside a few bucks for the bail money you're probably oh, going to need someday. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> oh, seriously, Lynn, what's going on with this church thing? Well, I've got one deacon that thinks I'm two points below. You see that green stuff out there? The stuff from the geese. No, oh, you bozo the grass. Oh, oh. He thinks I'm two <laughs> points below plant life, except I'm white. Honest to Pete, where do you come up with these things? Call it genius. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Deacon Spires, he's a gentleman. And I think he's wise. Deacon Raglan, he wins the blue ribbon in the sugar puss category. You know, you just want to squeeze him. He's so sweet. Uh, yeah. Well, Mama's got two. Mama's got. Yeah, she's precious. And Mary Hall, I like her. Mm. You know, I think she and I could be good friends. And then there's Deacon Hall. <laughs> Only one stinker in the bunch. Sounds like reasonable odds reasonable odds with an unacceptable outcome. Because Maddie, there'd always be fighting, there'd always be this war going on, not just in the church, but in the whole household, and it'll be my fault. Some wars have to be fought, Lynn, in order to win somebody's freedom. When did you get so wise? Two questions. Ay, ay, ay. What is God saying to you? And is he big enough to win a war that was gonna mean freedom for his people? Freedom from so many binding traditions of men. You know, I hate you. I hate you too. Mm. Come on, let's go get some tea. <gasps> Come on, leave the geese to themselves. Oh, stop looking so forlorn. Just walk it out. I thought you said the Lord softened your heart towards idea. Yeah, but you just don't know since I stepped back from ministry that I so enjoy my writing time and the peace and the quiet out here. I just, and it's away from all the problems. You think Jesus stayed away from problems? <laughs> I know you're right, but, but seriously, Maddie, I've had such intimacy out here. 
with the Lord and I feel his presence on this land. I mean, how do I give that up? You don't. You keep coming back to it. You get filled up here. You go out there and minister and you come right back here and get filled up again. You're right. You're right. Come on. Let's mm. take that walk. It won't be long before you do something stupid and I can get back to laughing. And it won't be long before I can get back to charging you for the entertainment value. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>
we are here in the atmosphere of your son. And he said that if two are gathered and they ask and agree on anything, and we agree that they could have it. And so we agree that Huckleberry is healed in the name of Jesus. And we declare it. You are healed, Huckleberry, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now listen, you remember when Jesus cursed the fig tree? They didn't see anything that night. But the next morning, what happened? Aha! Same thing. You may not see anything tonight, Deacon, but tomorrow morning, you're going to have a brand new pup. And I think your job for the rest of the day is to thank the Lord and to bless His name for His love for you and His healing mercies. And I can't wait to hear about the results. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you in a day or two. What? Two last things. <laughs> you said my dog was ugly. <laughs> you said my God. <laughs> I can laugh, Huckleberry, because you're healed in Jesus' name. Second, and seriously, I need you to think about this. The truth is, God rarely gives us what we want in the package we want it in. More often than not, He gives us what we need in a package sometimes called a foolish thing to confound the wise. Some people even call that package crazy. But think about it. I'll see you in a day or two. Bye, Huck. Hmm. Get well, Huck. Get well, old boy. Thanks, Looks honey. like God answered Reverend Jenkins' prayer. Hey, boy. Dad, <laughs> did you hear what I said? Looks like God answered Reverend Jenkins' prayers. Ah, he probably just had gas. He couldn't pass. Gas? Really, Dad? The vet said he had cancer and was dying, and now you think it's gas. Well, it's possible. Dad, there isn't a baked bean big enough to cause that much distress. Well, you never know. Well, while you sit there and never know, I'm going to tell you something. Reverend Jenkins doesn't owe you anything. Not only is she not your pastor yet, you have been really ugly to her. But despite all of that, she came all the way to our house to pray for your dog, Dad. The dog. Honey, I didn't ask her to come. Let me tell you something else, Dad. I haven't been to church in a long time. But if Reverend Jenkins decides to pastor again, I'm going wherever she is. Now, whether it's your church or somebody else's. He needs to change it. Reverend Jenkins. God healed Huckleberry. He was like a brand new dog this morning. Got it good. All the time. Yes, he is. <laughs> it was very nice of you to go over to his house, even if it wasn't your responsibility. Deacon Spires, any time a brother in Christ is in need, it's always the responsibility. I take that back. It's always the privilege to be able to go and help. Not to go, just not an option. Amen. Amen. Come, sit down. Yeah. Thanks. I vote yes. Yeah. Thank you, Deacon Ragman. But I think Reverend Jenkins knows unless Deacon Hall relents, we won't be able to offer her the position. We can egg his house. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I live there, too. My dear, as we said, you may have gotten on our nerves a bit, but you did cause us to do some serious thinking. And we decided that comfortable, it doesn't lead to growth. 
Ooh, well put, Deacon Raglan. Growth is a much better word than change. Folk get real nervous like when you mention that word change. But I think everybody understands the need for growth. That is true, isn't it? Any living thing, any living organism that's not in the process of growing, by definition, is in the process of dying. You know, I heard that somewhere. Our cells begin to die when we're around 25 or 26. Yeah, I think that, ooh. I think you're right. But here's what we need to remember. The church is a living organism. We are the body of Christ. And we're different in the fact that we were created to continue to grow, to grow in Christ. Growth means change. So how do we grow? Our individual growth, our continuing to be conformed to the image of Christ must always come first. And when that happens, the whole church will function as Christ intended. She's telling the truth. And it's also true that people are longing to see Christ in the church, to see a deep compassion for the hurting. And when they see Christ, they will fill our churches. I vote yes. You are so sweet. So how do we accomplish this? Easy. We keep our eyes on Him and on Him alone. He's our head, not me. I simply point to Him. I vote yes. Can we just fire the naysayer? We. I'm sorry we just can't offer you the job. It has been my joy to spend some time with such special, special people. Wait. What's this? Dog hair, huckleberry. Yeah, well, he wadded it up and threw it away three times before he finally gave it to me. Deacon Raglan, will you please place this in the official church record book that Deacon Hall said yes. Yes. <laughs> All in agreement? Aye. Aye. I vote yes. <laughs> Reverend Jenkins, we would like to kindly invite you to be the pastor of our little church. And I kindly accept. Yes! <laughs>